welcome to this series of tutorials. My aim is to give you an insight into the creative possibilities of Samplitude, but with an emphasis on workflow and organization. I am going to begin with the basics and move forward from there. Before you open Samplitude, I suggest you create a Samplitude project folder on the hard drive of your choice. Using your computer keyboard, hold down the Windows key and press E to open the Windows Explorer. Now you will see a representation of all the hard drives and CD DVD drives on your computer. In my case, drive E is my audio drive. Double click to open the drive and right click in an empty space. Under new, click on folder, this will create a new folder. In the text field, type in the name. I'm going to name it Samplitude Projects. So now we have a dedicated folder in which we can save our Samplitude projects. Click on the cross to close the Windows Explorer. Now double click on the Samplitude desktop shortcut. You should now be presented with the start wizard. For this example, I'm going to click on New Multitrack Project VIP. So now we are presented with a dialog box called Setup for New Project VIP. It's a good idea to give the project a name, even if you don't know what the song is going to be called. Also, it's important to get into the habit of creating a new folder for every new song or project. This means that all the audio for that song will be saved to that folder. Although there are file management tools in Samplitude which can help if things do get a bit disorganized, which I will show you later on. After installing Samplitude, the recording default path is usually set to drive C, although it's best to use a dedicated audio drive. Click on the yellow folder button and navigate to the newly created Samplitude project folder. Make sure you have create new folder subdirectory ticked. Now you can name the project in this name box. In this case, I'm going to name this project Getting Started. There are a few more things to do before clicking OK. Once we have defined these settings, they can be saved as a template for later use. Under Track Number, I'm going to select Custom 16 Tracks. I will leave the sample rate at 44.1 and set the project length to 5 minutes. There are some very useful preset project templates, but in this case I'm going to create my own template. Next thing to do is click on Project Options. If you're planning on using Samplitude for songwriting, I would enable Snap 2 and choose Bars and Beats. Next to that is a drop down list for setting the snap resolution. For the time being, I'm going to leave this set to 1 quarter bar. Below that, from the drop down list, choose Bars and Beats as well. That sets the grid resolution. Also, Save Mode is active and is set to save every 10 minutes. Under Bar BPM, the time signature is a default 44 and the BPM is 120. These can always be changed at a later date. I'll leave the recording and editing settings untouched as well. Click OK to exit the project options. Now we can click OK to exit the setup dialog. So now we have a nice new shiny 16 track project loaded according to the setup selection I made. 